Hello, fifth graders, and welcome to your language arts for today. For today, you will need your copy of Little Women, your white binder with your language arts materials, and a pencil. If you need to pause to go get those things, please do so, and come on back. All right, fifth graders, so today we are going to be starting our next uh, formal, I mean, we did letters to fathers, so that was definitely a writing assignment, but we're going to kind of be revisiting. I know it's been a while since we've done a paragraph, so we're going to kind of go through these steps together um, in preparation for writing these paragraphs. And yes, I say paragraphs. We're now going from the one to the two, okay? So our objective for today is to complete your writing map. So as you're looking through your materials, first thing that you want to make sure you have is your completed themes chart. Okay, we're going to be very much using this today in order to complete this. Okay, next, I need you to pay really close attention. I sent home two writing maps for you. Originally, I had intended to, hoped to do two writing assignments on Little Women, but then we did Letters to Father, and then it all just kind of didn't work out perfectly. So you've got to make sure you're picking the right the correct writing map, okay? So you're gonna have one, I'm trying to find it to make sure I'm giving you really, really clear directions. One of those writing maps, maybe I took it out, is about character traits. We're not going to use that one, okay? We're not gonna do the character trait writing map. Instead, we're going to be looking at this, this writing map. So this is the one I want you to find, okay? Um, the identification about it, it's going to say theme option one, theme option two, theme option three, okay? So make very carefully sure that you're getting the correct one because I would really not feel good about having to return it to you if you did the wrong one, but I am going to do that. I will return it if you don't fill out the right one. So you need to make sure you're filling out the correct one, the one I just held up. Okay. So you're going to need that themes chart and you're going to need that writing map. Okay. You'll remember from the last time that we did a writing assignment, this writing map serves as your brainstorm, your rough draft, whatever. Okay. So we're going to work through this and this is how you're going to I don't know, go through getting ready to write your final draft, which is not due today, okay? This is just the rough draft. So we're gonna fill this in together and I'm going to ask to see a picture of both sides of this for your homework today, okay? And remember, the themes chart should be nearby. Your book should be nearby as well. It might be a good reference as you're kind of looking back, okay? So with that, I'm gonna flip you around. We're gonna talk through what this writing assignment is going to look like. So, You'll see, and again, it's been a while, so maybe this isn't coming at you right away, but I'm gonna walk you through it. You're gonna complete this writing map in preparation for writing your paragraphs. For this assignment, you will be writing about themes in Little Women. You'll be writing two paragraphs, and each paragraph is going to focus on just one theme. So the first thing I want you to do right now is to circle the two themes listed below that you would like to be your paragraph topics. So you'll notice these are the three themes that we've been reflecting on this whole time, okay? You're gonna pick two of them. One will be for one paragraph, the other will be for the other paragraph. So your option number one is the importance of living a virtuous life. And there's this question that I asked that is gonna be a part of this writing assignment as well, which I'll explain. What good comes from living a virtuous life? Theme option two, the societal expectations of women. With this question that comes along with it, how were women expected to act at this time? Theme option three, the relationship between money and happiness. With this question, does having money make someone happier? So you need to circle right now. So pause as you're reflecting. Circle two that you would like to be writing about today, okay? I would encourage you to pick two that you feel really good about, pick two that you feel like you've got good evidence for, that you have some thoughts about, so circle two of them, okay? So pause, circle two of these options, and then come on back. 
So I am going to not circle anything. I'm just going to walk you through. So as we're going through this writing map, you're going to do this two times. So I'm going to kind of guide you through as we go after we go through this map. So your topic sentence will be one theme that appears in Little Women is blank. And then you're going to fill it in. Which did you pick? Okay. So one theme that appears in Little Women is the importance of living a virtuous life. Or one theme that appears in Little Women is the societal expectations of women. Or one theme that appears in Little Women is the relationship between money and happiness. You'll fill that in. Okay, our supporting sentences are going to be a little bit trickier, but I think you can do it. So you're going to include two specific examples from the text that demonstrate this theme. Remember, your supporting sentences need to be three or five. I think three to five. I think you're going to end up writing four. Okay. Include two specific examples or even quotes from the text that demonstrate this theme. I don't think you should need to be flipping through your book because you've done the work. So if you're writing about the importance of living a virtuous life, you should pick two of your best examples that you have from that column. Okay, so that's the first supporting sentence step. Then you're going to explain how the examples answer the question that is in parentheses and follows the theme. See above. So if you're writing about the importance of living a virtuous life, then you're going to put two examples that show that theme. And then you're going to say these examples show that when you live a virtuous life, this good thing happens. Or if you were doing societal expectations of women, then you'd provide your two examples, and then you'd say these examples show that women were expected to act in this way at this time. Or if you pick the relationship between money and happiness, then you'd go and give your examples, and then you'd say these examples show that having money does make someone happier, doesn't make someone happier. You want to consider how you're going to answer that. So that's that second part. Your answer should not be in parentheses. The question is in parentheses. So as you're answering this question, you don't need to have any parentheses anywhere in your paragraph, okay? Step three then, which is gonna be probably the fifth sentence in your paragraph, I would say, is to explain why this theme is valuable or worth considering. In other words, why does Elcott want her reader to reflect on this theme, right? In other words, you know, what's the point of even considering this theme, okay? Then we get to this concluding sentence thing, which we did notes on, okay? But we do our transitional word or phrase, therefore, in conclusion, as a result, we restate the topic sentence. So therefore, one thing that appears in Little Women is blank, and then we say are something new and interesting. Some of you may be hearing me talk and thinking, uh, transitional words, phrases, what? Or something new or interesting, what? Or I have a vague recollection about this, but that's as far as it gets. Okay, I am going to refer you back to, it's been a while, but there are in the writing section of your white binder, you should have these notes about how to write body paragraphs. So go look at those notes. You should have notes about how to write concluding sentences. Go look at those notes, okay? Those notes are going to walk you through some of these very questions that you might be having. So this will refresh your memory, okay? Now, my spacing didn't turn out, so I apologize. But you'll see, topic sentence two, one sentence. You're going to go with whatever the second theme you selected is. It's going to be on the back side because, again, as I mentioned, I didn't space it as well as I would have hoped. So another theme that appears in Little Women is, and then you're gonna fill in your other theme, whichever one you chose, okay? Again, you're gonna include two specific examples from the text that demonstrate this theme. Use your themes chart. Don't make it harder than it has to be. Then you're gonna explain how the examples answer the question that is in parentheses and follows the theme. See above, okay? So, Again, for that part of things, there's a question that's in parentheses. I put it on the other side. It's behind the theme. You want to answer that. These examples show that and answer that question. Finally, you want to, again, explain why the theme is valuable, why it's worth considering. Why is the author even writing about this? Why are we reading about it? <clears throat> okay. 
and then back to our transitional word or phrase. So sample paragraph. This, as usual, is about something that you are not allowed to write about. It's not one of the three themes. I'm writing about something different so that you're not just taking my thoughts when you're writing yours. So this is, again, not a theme that's an option for you, but it gives you an idea. And I said that these parts in bold are parts that you could copy from me. You could take it right out, okay? So every one of you could have these parts of sentences. One theme that appears in Little Women is, and then I fill in the blank, the value of work. So you'd fill in your theme. One example that demonstrates, you could take that, the value of work, is when the girls conduct their all work, no play experiment. And the girls are crabby and upset by the end of the week long experiment. Another example that demonstrates, again, you can take that bolded part. The value of work is when the girls stay busy with their duties when Marmy leaves so that they do not worry too much about their father while Marmy is gone. Again, you could take this bolded part. Both of these examples show that, answer the question now, show that work is valuable because without it, the girls became unhappy, purposeless, and restless. This theme is worth considering because, though it can be tempting to play without doing any work, it's important to remember that not working will ultimately result in a happy life. Will not ultimately result in a happy life, excuse me. Therefore, one theme that appears in Little Women is the value of work, a theme that can be especially important for a student to remember. Okay. I'm gonna kind of try and walk you through our first paragraph and then I'm gonna sort of set you loose on your own for that second part. Sorry, I'm trying to get to these notes for you guys so that when I get to that part of things, I can refer right to it. So let's go ahead and flip back to the first page, okay? And we're gonna start walking through step by step. You should be working with me, writing as I'm instructing you to write, pausing as necessary. So you should have circled already what two you're gonna write about. So we start with one theme that appears in Little Women is. This is the point where you're gonna fill in whichever theme you've chosen. So one of these three things that I just put in brackets, you're gonna put here, okay? So which one are you gonna fill in? You should be doing it right now. I'm just gonna really try and make this super clear. So one of these is what you're going to put there. Okay, recall what I said now about how you can have, I'm going to say you probably need to have one, two, three, four. And by, by probably, I mean, if you don't have four sentences here, you're, you're going to lose points for not doing all the things that I've asked you to, okay? Okay, so now as we sort of look at our sample paragraph, I tell you, you can take one example that demonstrates, so let's start doing it. One example that demonstrates, and again, I'm putting this yellow as your indication that you should fill in the theme again here, whatever theme you're talking about. One example that demonstrates, fill in the theme, is I'm putting dot, dot, dot because I'm not going to tell you what to write. You should finish this sentence. Use your themes chart. I would pause, write in an example, then come on back and we'll keep going. So again, Another example that demonstrates, so our next sentence here, another example that demonstrates, and again, you're going to rewrite the theme. We want our reader to really truly know what it is that we're writing about. One example that, dem or another, excuse me, example that demonstrates is, and again, you're going to finish that sentence. Look at your theme chart. Pick an example. Go ahead and pause. And then come on back. 
Okay, so now we're on to this part here where it says explain how the examples answer the question that is in parentheses and follows the theme above. Your answer is not in parentheses. The question is in parentheses. So remember, both of these examples show that. So we go. Both of these examples show that. What? You have to think about what is the theme that you're writing about. Go to that theme up here and then look at this question, okay? If you're writing about virtuous life, this is the question you wanna answer. If you're writing about societal expectations of women, then this is the question you wanna answer. And if you're writing about the relationship between money and happiness, then this is the question that you wanna answer. So both of these examples show that living a virtuous life leads to blank, and you have to kind of explain it. Or both of these examples show that women were expected to act blank at this time, and you have to explain it. Or both of these examples show that having money relates to happiness how? Blank. Explain it. So that's going to be this sentence. So pause, and then come on back. Finally, for at least the supporting sentences, Explain why the theme is valuable or worth considering. In other words, why does Alcott want her readers to reflect on this theme? So this theme is worth considering because is one way you could start this sentence. Perhaps you maybe want to say, mm, I don't know, Alcott wants her readers to think about this theme because, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So think about it. Why are any of these important for us to be thinking about today? Okay, you're gonna have to do some thinking, but what, what's the import? What's the value? What's the reason? Okay, so pause and then when you're done, come on back. Okay, concluding sentence. Remember, we're starting our concluding sentence with a transitional word or phrase, okay? So, I gave these to you in two places, but here's one. You're writing body paragraphs. Begin with a transitional word or phrase. Here are your free to be taken transitional words or phrases. You are gonna write there for, or as a result, or in conclusion, or consequently, or in summary. Fill one of those in. That's the first part of this sentence. So you're gonna fill in a transitional word or phrase. You can do that right now. Remember, these things are all going to be together. So this part is literally just going to be one word or maybe two words or maybe three if you have like as a result. But this is just the very start of your sentence. Next goes to a restatement of that topic sentence. Okay, so restate it. So therefore, one theme Maybe you didn't pick therefore, but one theme that appears in Little Women is blank. And again, that blank is the same yellow blank that I've been filling in this whole time. You're going to fill in that theme again. This is your summary. And... You finish this sentence with something you were interested. I'm going to refer you back to these notes, concluding sentences. How do I say something new or interesting? This refreshes your memory. Okay, we worked on it before. So you're going to look back to that. So fifth graders, if you've been working along with me and pausing when I've been pausing, asking you to pause and finishing sentences when I've been asking you to finish sentences, you should pretty much be done with your first paragraph. Okay, I'm now going to let you fly away like beautiful birds and do your second paragraph on your own. The, the format is exactly the same. You're going to follow the same steps that we just did together. The difference is, instead of writing about the first theme or one of the themes that you circled, you're going to write about the other one. You're going to pick the other theme. So you will not be writing about all three themes. 
just two of them today, okay? When you are done <clears throat> with all of this, you're gonna take a picture of this side and of this side, okay? You're gonna take a picture of both sides of your work and that's what you're gonna submit to me. And then that's all you need to do for today. Don't lose this though. This is gonna be really important as we're picking back up on Thursday with our homework. You're gonna need this, okay? So this is going to be your rough draft, your brainstorming, and I need to really be seeing all these details. And I'll send it back to you if it looks like you just kind of threw, slapped together a couple of things and didn't really think it through. Remember, this is the heavy lifting for our writing assignment. This is the thing that you're really putting in your legwork on, and then it should make the final draft much easier, okay? So with that, hopefully you have a pretty good idea of what to be doing. Refer to your theme chart, to these notes that I brought back up, use the map, and submit pictures, and then you should be well on your way for the writing assignment, okay? Good luck. Let me know if you've got questions.